Hello, YouTube viewers. This is Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. Just one more time. And what you're looking at right now is basically uh, just an eBay page. And uh, as you see up in the corner right there, it says bait casting reel. Dial up bait casting reels. And I'm just doing a little search here. I'm just looking around as I always do. I'm a perpetual shopper, as they say. The topic is dial up bait casting reels. And I've been looking through, for me, you know, this is the kind of thing that I wanted to go over. It's the type of stuff that I look at and look for. Kind of unique stuff. Now, I'm not a computer guru by any means. I can't even operate my damn smartphone. A dumb phone. So I'm actually doing this with a GoPro, a light, and my computer monitor. Let's get into this. Bait casting reel. I'm going to come up with a bunch of Daiwa low profiles. You know, Daiwa makes a million different types of low profiles from such high dollar for you know the bass fishermen and let me know down below if this is the kind of stuff that you'd like to see the old jetty wolf go over i wanted to show you something that i found and it happens if you can see the cursor i'm going to be pointing to this one right here i'll be using my finger in case you can't see my my little arrow there i'm looking at this right here it says Dyla Secor Blue 310 bait casting fishing reel. Brand new, $70 or best offer. Well, right off the get go, I can see it's a lefty. Let's click on this and let's take a look see. It's kind of a low profile reel. All right, well, look at that. A lever drag, lever drag, level wind. This is a Jigging Master Wiki Jigging from Taiwan. Lever drag, level wind. Lever drag, level wind. Isn't that interesting? just did a video not long ago comparing my Ryogas to the Jigging Master Wiki Reels, which are lever drag, level wind. Huh, very interesting, because you don't see this very often. But it is a lefty, as we can see. Big old power handle. I mean, good night. What are you catching with this thing? There's the lever. You can see the lever. My gosh, that power handle. There it is. Cormoran Secor. Well, look at that. A clicker. <laughs> Make you catfishermen happy, huh? All right, now we're looking at just the bottom. He's given here some uh, where it's the, the, the statistics. 4.5 to 1 gear ratio. All right, let's look at the next thing. Oh, there's the box. Secor Blue 310 Cormoran. Multiplier reel. Right there. It says multiplier reel if you can't see it. Dead giveaway that this wasn't in the United States of America. This is European. You know what the redneck version of the word European is? You're out in the woods with your buddy on a duck hunt, and it's dark. He just drank, your buddy just drank 25 ounces of damn hot coffee in the morning. It's kind of cool. And all of a sudden, you look down, and you say, hey, dude, European on my boots. That's the 
That's the redneck definition of European. Well, we can see it was a joint venture here or something. It says down here on the box, designed and developed in Germany. All right, and it's got all these multiple languages here. Here's the bottom of the box. Cormoran, Daiwa Cormoran, and then whatever. Registered trademark, designed and developed in Germany. Okay, we're going to get that zoom popping up here again. Right. This thing is, is kind of cool. And there's six of them available. Can you believe that? Six. At 70 a pop or make an offer. $11.10, 10 cents, expedited shipping. Well, obviously, this is somebody who spent some time, probably in the military or something, spent some time overseas. And then, over here. Over here. Right there. Here comes. Ooh, they're going to try to sell you this one now. Let's look at the Camcoon Full Metal 33 pounds of drag pressure. That is so full of shit, it's unbelievable. But this here is going to be one of them wonderful knockoffs. Boy, there's some reviews about these things. This happens to be one of them Super China Reels. All right, boy, does that thing, let me turn this camera, oh my God, make a bulldog break its chain. Look at that. Woo! That's a Daiwa Ryoga knockoff if I ever seen one. But you know what? It's all glitz and no go. Most of these people who end up buying these do videos on YouTube. I mean, only $199. So why would you spend $250? Why would you spend $250 on a real Daiwa Ryoga? When they're going to give you carbon fiber. It's probably not even real carbon fiber. It's probably fake carbon fiber. Ooh, it looks good. Ooh, they're showing you it looks good here. Until the thing strips out on the first big-ass fish. Yep, they tear apart a Daiwa. And then they knock it off. That's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they've done. Don't be a sucker, folks. Don't get into one of these, you know, get the real deal because you think you're ever going to find parts for this thing. When you break this and you tear it up, you think you're going to ever find that part? Well, I'll tell you, I can go straight to Daiwa and get all the parts I want. So that has been the Jitty Wolf's reaction to some of these reels. But what I really wanted to show you was... That one, that one that I wanted to show you, that one obviously from Germany, Russia, or whatever it was, the, um, the Daiwa one. The Daiwa one that's not really a Daiwa because it was, it was a German reel or something. So that's all I wanted to do is show you. If you like going me going through some of these, and I could sit here for hours. I mean, I took this reel right here, Daiwa TD Zillion. I took this reel right here, okay? I took that reel right there. I took two of them and bought all custom parts for it. All custom from Hedgehog Studios in Japan. And I tricked them out, and I've got videos all about it. Nobody gave two shits. Those videos never were, went anywhere. Nobody cared. I changed everything out. I made one red, white, and blue, and I made another one uh, shades of gold with, with, uh, with blue or something. Nobody cared. I could tell you about having Daiwa Lexas just like these. I had Lexa 300s. Damn six pack of Daiwa Lexus. And I got rid of them because why? The paint was coming off and I didn't like that. 
it was going to be nothing but more and more trouble. All right, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.